this it's me so really the point of this video is to just talk and just have a conversation um with you <laughs> um my brother i do have a younger brother he is four years younger than me and that's where you see all the pictures of my nephews. Um, they come from him and my sister. Um, and so we were just having a conversation about stuff. And my brother said, like, sis, you're really resilient. And I thought about that for a minute. I was like, I'm resilient. Like, what does that mean? to be resilient, you know? So then I just started thinking about all the stuff that I've experienced, you know, throughout my life, but really over the last 10, 12 years. And I was like, you know what? I am resilient. And I think what it means to be resilient, like I'm not gonna give you the Webster Dictionary, but what I feel like it means is that you keep going like you will fall you will make mistakes stuff will happen again and again i will try to get you off track but overall you are a person that knows that if i keep going there's something good on the other end of this um and if you read my book <laughs> you'll know that i have experienced some things I'm not saying that I've experienced like so much, you know, more than anybody else because I don't really compare stories anymore. I used to. I used to compare myself a lot, but I don't do that anymore. And in my book, I share how I have been through some things that require resiliency. Um, so what does being resilient mean? To me, it just means just you're a person that keeps going. You're a person that doesn't allow things to get you so much off track that you can't find your way back to who you are, to who God made you to be, um, to your mission, to your purpose. You're a person that keeps going through hard stuff. <laughs> so I just thought about that and it kind of made me, um, well, not kind of, it made me grateful and it made me thankful that my brother um, would be able to attach that word to my life that I'm resilient. I've got a lot of bounce back in me. Like once you go through some things and you realize like who you really are and who God has called you to be, your confidence level will go up just a little bit. Now I'm not talking about being cocky and being annoying, but I'm talking about carrying that confidence that God gives you once you realize who you are and who he made you to be and all the gifts and the talents and the different things that he has placed inside of you. There is a level of confidence that comes with that. So I was like, yeah, I'm resilient. So how do you display resiliency? I would say that you have an attitude of thanks you have an attitude of gratefulness that no matter what you go through, no matter what happens, you're thankful and you're grateful, even for those really bad experiences in your life. Um, I feel like if you're a person who displays thankfulness and gratefulness, like God will show you how to make good out of bad. There's never been a time where a situation that I went through didn't work out for my good. Like God is so dope. He cannot lie. And his word literally says that if you love him, if you love him <laughs> and you try your best to do what he says and live how he requires for us to live, then all things will work together for the good to them that loved him and that are called according to his purpose. So I believe that with all of my heart that um, even really horrible things, they, they're working together for my good. I never wanted to um, 
go through some of the things that I've went through. I won't name them, but um, they happened. But like I said, God is so dope that he will not allow those things to not work together for your good. He just won't. <laughs> so can you be resilient? Absolutely. That's really my main purpose for this video is to really encourage you that you can be resilient. You can have a resiliency on the inside of you that rises up and that pushes you forward and that reminds you that you're loved and that reminds you that God has a plan and that reminds you that before you were even born, before your parents even got together, God had a plan. He had a sure plan for your life. So can you be resilient? Absolutely. I don't care what you go through. If you have a mind of being grateful and being thankful and you have a mind and you know that God is on your side and you know that you can do all things through him that gives you strength, you're resilient, period. I know everybody use that now, period. <laughs> you're a resilient person. So walk in that. Be confident in that. Grow in your resiliency. There's a song that has been on my heart. Yeah, I'm going to use that phrase. There's a song that has been on my heart. But there really has been. I saw a young lady sing it on a TV show. It's an old song. But it just really stuck with me. Like it, uh... It rang out in me as she sung it. I connected with the song again. And funny story, some years ago um, at a church that I was a member at, uh, the choir director, she wanted me to sing the song. But it was at a season in my life where, excuse me as I fold my legs. <clears throat> it was just at a season in my life where I wasn't really all the way confident in my gift and in who God had called me to be. Um, so there was a lot of feelings of incompetence, like, I can't do this, but it's a new season, a new day in my life now. So I'm just going to share just a little bit of the song with you. This world sometimes seems cruel and cold. And pain doth pierce my very soul. But there's a place, <laughs> a secret place, a place where I can go for you. Shall hide me in your tabernacle from the rain and storm and even when my enemies pursue me. From harm. <laughs> I'm older now. I've learned when to give it and when to pull it back. Learned my lesson over the years. Can't reach every note. <laughs> so reach what you can. But anyway, guys, that was my video on resiliency. I just literally wanted to encourage you to, no matter what's happening, to continue to be resilient. Continue to keep the faith. Continue to trust that God has your best interest at heart. And I know I say that a lot, but it's something that has carried me through. I believe that he has my best interest at heart. I don't believe that he's trying to harm me. I don't believe that he's trying to take me out. I believe that he's trying to make me grow. I believe that he's trying to cause a transformation that will cause me to be who he had in mind before I was even born. <laughs> but yeah. My name is Estrella, and um, 
that's it. I just want to encourage you guys. But I would love to link up with you um, at your next event, whether it be virtual or whether it be in person. So I will put my website um, on this video. So check me out. It is uh, www.authorandrearene.com. And I would love to link up with you and connect with you and kick it. <laughs> but anyway, again, I'll post my website below. So feel free to reach out to me and I will answer you. Bye, guys.